Many SUVs claim to be sporty, but this one actually is. Certainly, if any car of this type handles better, then I haven't driven it. By and large, it doesn't roll any more than the Audi A4 on which it's based, and the stiff, jittery ride on at low speeds that you usually get with so-called sporty 4x4s is missing too. No, the Q5 is more evidence that Audi's engineers have rediscovered the secret of driving satisfaction, aided in this case by an unusually sophisticated uh, suspension setup. Uh, the, at least if you opt for the extra cost Audi Drive Select system that I've got here. Here you can choose between comfort, auto and dynamic settings and Anorax can fiddle with these settings still further through the Audi multimedia interface but quite frankly you're probably better just sticking it in auto and leaving the system to do its own thing. There's permanent four-wheel drive of course, quattro four-wheel drive, intelligent enough in this case to vary the torque between the front and the rear. In most on-road circumstances, it'll push most of the power towards the rear, further aiding the Q5's already impressive agility. Go off-road and the stability system will sense it, um, switching to a mode that will be ideal for the Q5's intended off-road type of use. And by that, I mean the kind of gravel tracks, sand and uh, light off-piste use for which this car was really designed. Now, it'll vary the uh, response according to the surface that you're on, and it'll incorporate a hill descent control should you need it. It'll even tweak itself to accommodate for a roof rack if that's necessary. A towing capability of 2,400 kilograms suggests a range of torquey engines, and so it proves. The top 2.0-litre TFSI petrol unit and 2.0-litre TDI 170 diesel, they both manage 350 newton metres of torque. And if you go for the 3.0-litre TDI that I've got here, you've got 500 newton metres of torque. That's from an engine that can push this car from rest to 60 in under 7 seconds. Now the task of marshalling all that power falls to a, a 6-speed manual gearbox or uh, if you go for the automatic option you've got a seven-speed S-tronic dual-clutch semi-automatic DSG transmission.